I'm not gonna like this, am I? <laughs> I'm on the record saying that Cherry MX switches are the gold standard, but there are. <laughs> I would never though, I would never be so outspoken to say something ridiculous like Cherry MX is not the gold standard or that Cherry MX browns aren't like I would never mm. garbage. I would never say anything like that because I'm not a hater and I understand it's all about preference. Alright then we'll begin with round one, all the tactile <laughs> Cherry MX browns and tactile, oh what are you gonna say next? That linear switches you have to press them all the way down to actuate? Oh. I feel like I'm at my eye exam all over again. And you don't know if the answers you're saying are right, but it's just all subjective, so it doesn't matter. That's a good take. I agree with that. I mean, something that's personal to keyboard is ultimately just preference. What do you prefer? Heavy springs or soft springs. Some people prefer linears, the tactiles, the clicky. Some people prefer their tactile bump is huge. Some like it brown. Like, you know, it's all just what you like, good take, good take. There is a right and wrong. This is terrible. Yes, yes it is, yes it is. Thank you very much. This man, this man keyboards, Jerry MX Brown's objectively bad. Wait, didn't you just say it was all about preference? Uh, yeah, my preference. And based on my absolute and objectively correct preference, this man has superior taste. Subjectively, of course. <laughs> If it was Cherry, I'd be very surprised. <laughs> I really like uh, Keyboard B. It really gives me that very sharp feedback that I'm actually- It's very interesting to see people who only ever used clicky switches in terms of a click jacket use a click bar. Thinking back to the first time I actually used a switch with a click bar in it, it actually kind of was indeed like, whoa. Not like wow, but like really reserved. Whoa. Box Jades review coming soon. This one? I'm gonna guess that these are like the Box Jades or Box Navies. <laughs> what? Did you just say Kale Blues are like Box Navies? They're nothing like it! <laughs> guess that these are those, um. Zelios V2s, I think they are. These kind of feel like Cherry MX Super Blacks. It's almost fatiguing to listen to in the same way that when you listen to like really accurate high resolution headphones, it can be fatiguing because it's it's like too realistic. Hmm. So. Cherry switches almost never won in the linear and clicky categories, but the MX Browns were by far the most popular switch among the tactile switches. Mission failed. We'll get them next time. Okay, I've, I've, I've seen enough. This video makes it very apparent for people who are not obsessed about keyboards, the thing that decides, I guess, to a lesser extent, people who are obsessed with them, the biggest factor in deciding whether they'll like a switch or not is going to be its weight. You can see that when you're watching the video, for example. Whoa, that's heavy. Pretty light in the press. It just doesn't feel like it takes as much pressure to type. Too much actuation force. These are too heavy for me. This also relates to the tactility. God damn. This also relates to the tactility. Oh! This also relates to the tactility of the switch. I can't say that. Tac. This also relates to the tactility of the switch because a switch with medium or light springs can feel much heavier if it has a large tactile bump. Oh, my tongue broken. The bottom out feel is also really important. See that some people didn't like a switch because it felt soft on the bottom out. I also think that the majority of people weren't really trying to find the switch they liked. It felt more like they were going to what they already knew. For most people that was your standard Cherry MX suite and so they ended up going to switches that were similar to those. Which to me actually makes perfect sense since these factors are what form a massive amount of your typing experience. How much force you have to put in to activate a switch or bottom out 
how hard the actual bottom out feels are more important to those less obsessed with keyboards than something like smoothness or a particular sound, so long as it's not noisy. Thinking about how a switch feels, you're also considering X team number of factors like what kind of plate you have, what kind of keycaps you have, how hollow the chassis of the keyboard is and stuff like that. So it's not really possible to get a stock feel of any switch, um, just because that will change depending on what kind of board or plate or case you have it in. So I guess it's okay that they were using the same, I think it was the drop control as a kind of controlled variable to use for all of the switches. I mean, ultimately, hundreds of thousands of people who may have only heard about Cherry MX and a few other switches now have heard of a much bigger pool of switches that could, for example, get people into the custom scene, making their own boards, uh, popularizing switches that are actually really good and hopefully forcing Cherry to make some smoother or different kind of switches. Not a bad video. Among the tactile yeah. switches. I mean, all in all, I it was know if that's because actually of pretty good. I mean, you category. could have made it weaker competition in the category.